Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in today's video we are going to check into the 22nd of uh, September 2022nd and uh, with that said, uh, should you be interested into having a personal reading with me you can always go to my website uh, which link you can find in the description down below and uh, let's uh, do the cut and uh, see what we got for the day all right, so the first card for the day, that's going to be the five of, uh, it's the five of swords. I was about to say pentacles, I don't know why. So it's the five of swords. Uh, followed by the second card uh, for the day, which uh, stands as the three of uh, cups. And uh, the final one for the day, that's going to be uh, the nine of cups. So this is how the elemental dignity stands like this and uh, this is going to be pretty pretty weird day uh, now throughout the day uh, it is because we do have this uh, this elemental dignity okay uh, this one uh, throughout the day it's kind of it's going to feel that we are uh, for the lack of a better word, I'm going to say we are underselling ourselves mm -hmm. in the sense of that we are not undertaking uh, enterprises to the maximum of our abilities no different than we can for example fly in the sky and instead we are crawling on the earth so to speak and this may put us in a situations throughout the day where we are to to seek a, a new venture so to speak regardless if those new ventures are something we are accustomed to or they are something we can handle and thus we may involve ourselves into some situations into some enterprises which we are utterly unprepared for them and therefore even if we do push ourselves to the maximum limit that we do have even if we do end up prevailing at the end of the day the victory itself is going to come with a price and with these uh, cards the price may come up being more than we know so to speak so the guidance from these two cards which are the five of uh, the five of swords and the uh, um, four of cups it is actually to um before we decide should we become a part of something throughout this day uh we gotta make sure that we do have the capacity to to uh to see it through to the very end now we do have the capacity and i'm saying that because um, even even myself it's not like i'm not a normal human being but sometimes we say you know well i'm going to throw myself into it but when things kind of like heat up then i'm going to figure out what i'm going to do that should not be the attitude that we should put toward ourselves today instead the attitude should be can i do it right now am i able to see it through with the the, the resources i'm currently have and if not well that's probably not an enterprise for us at least at that particular uh, at that particular time and um the uh the situation is going to arise in a such a way it is because not just only we are going to feel that we are underselling ourselves but as well uh, we are going to start realizing that whatever accomplishments we achieved thus far they are kind of like waning away it's either not enough for us anymore or it is just others that we have impressed before are now start seeing as a, a, a normal human being that, being there that the impression kind of wanes away and the other elemental dignity that we do have for the day it is in between these two cards so that is uh, another active neutral and they are kind of like supporting the first two here it's more like um it's actually kind of sad because with these two cards, one, depending on what stage of, 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 die, of die life one finds themselves, um, one can ask themselves, why am I even, you know, keeping up with something with these two cards? Uh, why am I even in this relationship? Or why am I even in, uh, in this job? And so on and so forth. 
And again, it is, it is very important that throughout this day, we do remind ourselves what actually the, the, the reason why we initiated that thing on the first place, that we were happy. And those two cards, by the way, are showing that that happiness could come about again, uh, that, that we do feel ourselves productive as well. And that production also could, uh, could be revived if it is uh, not present currently. So it is, uh, again, uh, for the day itself, it is very, very important, guys, to kind of like um, scale up the limits that we can go for and thus adjust to the situations that are in front of us uh, accordingly. So now a bit more practical advices from these cards. First things first, it's, it's going to be irrelevant what people think of you and what they are saying to you throughout this day, especially throughout this day. Because with these two cards, we may end up being a bit insulted, even humiliated by one or another person. And that should not be something we should dwell on. Another thing from these uh, two cards, or these three cards, I'm sorry, is that we have to be very, very careful whom we do trust throughout the day, because with that five of swords being, especially on the prime of the reading, uh, it's, uh, uh, how can I put it into words? It's very uh, prominent uh, to entrust someone that it is not worthy from our trust. And this again comes from the lack of scaling of capabilities, and you may Think that someone is capable of uh, being trustworthy but it alas it turns out that it isn't uh, so basically today uh, the best thing that one can do is just not undertake anything that would be best but if you totally have to once again uh, make sure that it fully corresponds and reciprocates to your current abilities and as well to your current resources hoping that some uh, resources or something is going to get easier uh, going forward into the future that's not going to be the case with the situations which are to arise throughout today so with that said guys that was the daily tarot guidance hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other around uh, until then bye